I was particularly upset this past Tuesday because one, the city council, although I'm happy with the outcome and passing really strong um, economic relief policies for working people, um, the process about how we really dissect these issues and understand the nuances of, of really complex policy is not something that could be discussed over a teleconference where you can't see people and where people can't mute their phones or understand how to mute their phone. So you instead hear a complicated conversation about providing paid sick leave for companies and the nuances of that while somebody else is talking about a recipe to cook for dinner. Um, <laughs> you know, to me, it also highlights the fact that like our city council is um, part-time and they have other responsibilities. And that if we, for a long time, Long Beach has acted as though we're a small town. When we're in reality, we feel like a small town, but we're a major city. We're the second largest in LA County, of home to half a million people, and we have big city problems. So it's about time that we grow up. It's about time that we have a full-time city council that can actually engage in these issues. And it's about time that we have a basic city council meeting that people can participate in and that the mayor doesn't have to ask for the 83rd time, can people mute their phones? We see the available technology that's out there that other municipalities, even smaller than Long Beach, are using that actually engage people, that actually allow for um, meaningful dialogue facilitated processes, there's no reason and no excuse that we're using a basic teleconference service um, that drops, that limits people from engaging. Um, and for a city of our size, there's no reason we should be limiting ourselves to this kind of process. So my only conclusion that I can draw from that is that it's intentional.